asteroid NASA's warning, the 12 asteroids heading towards Earth this month. It's by Tom Fish and Express UK. Asteroids set to make numerous near-Earth approaches in the remainder of this month of June. Asteroid trackers at US Space Agency NASA warned. Now we've had a couple of near misses already of uh, not insignificant sized asteroids and they're pretty close. Uh, a couple of uh, months back we had one that struck us in the North Pacific Ocean just south of the Aleutian Islands. That made Earth impact but thank goodness it was not anywhere on populated areas. It was uh, in the ocean. But uh, they have to keep track of them and up to now there is no way that they can stop them if they are, are to uh, have a direct impact on Earth. Now, uh, despite apparent increase of close encounters, there are not any more near-Earth asteroids than there used to be. NASA is just getting better at detecting these rogue pieces of space rocks, these celestial objects. And now the space agency announced a succession of space rocks are barreling towards us over the next two weeks. NASA Center for Near Earth Object Studies, NEOs, calculated the trajectory of all of these asteroids classified as near Earth objects forward to the year 2200. And now we know we have a couple of them coming at us, uh, one of them being Apophis, and that will be coming in about 10 years' time. That's the basically the type of an exercise they ran at the end of April. The uh, asteroid strike uh, drills that they have taking place every two years to see how they can stop an asteroid, how to mitigate it, how to change its path, how to protect Earth from an asteroid impact. Now, uh, so they have, so, uh, from what they have seen anyway, because they basically track asteroids over 350 feet across, so the smaller ones we can actually do damage. Uh, they don't really concentrate on, they want to catch the big ones. The asteroids have been nudged, these asteroids have been nudged by the gravitational attraction of nearby planets into orbits that catapult them towards us towards our cosmic neighborhood. This Friday, June 14th, tomorrow that is, will be an astronomically busy day for asteroid flyby because we will see three asteroids in our planet's vicinity. A total of 12 asteroids will skim Earth this June and all categorized as near-Earth encounters. These are 2019 LL1, as you said, that means 2019 means that it was discovered this year, 2013 YA14, 2019 JK, 2019 LU, 2019 LR, 2019 LSC, as you can see most of them are 2019, 2019 LB2, 2019 LM1, 2010 NY65, 2008 KV2, 2016 NN15, and 2019 LV1. You can see most of them were just discovered this year, 2019. Arguably the most exciting encounter will happen when a rogue asteroid dubbed 2008 KV2 will skim Earth on Thursday, June 27, because that asteroid is quite big. It's 1,150 feet across and it's traveling at 25,700 miles an hour, that's 41,000 kilometers an hour. Online asteroid impact calculators estimate that this celestial body is capable of creating a crater 660 meters deep and causing a magnitude 7 earthquake if it does impact us. This asteroid is easily capable of causing Armageddon if it struck a major city. Now, it's fortunate, however, that this asteroid will, in fact, barrel safely past us at 4,200,000 miles distance. These types of enormous distances may lead some observers to question why NASA categorizes such asteroids as near-Earth objects. 
Well, it's because these are actually remarkably short distances, celestial-wise, when the universe, infinity size, and the enormity of our solar system are considered. If an asteroid's trajectory does not take it beyond the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars, that's when NASA classifies it as a near-Earth object, NEO. And according to NASA, an NEO is an asteroid or a comet, any celestial body, with a perihelion distance less than our is equal to 1.3 astronomical units. One astronomical unit is the distance between the Sun and the Earth, which is about 93 million miles. And what this means is uh, asteroids like 2008 KV2 orbit the Sun from a maximum distance of around 120.8 million miles. These rogue space rocks occasionally will cross paths with us, with Earth, our orbit around the Sun. NASA said as they orbit the Sun, near-Earth objects can occasionally approach close to Earth. Note that a close passage, astronomically, can be very far away in human terms, millions or even tens of millions of miles. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.